Hey all you cool cats and kittens, it's finally here. Finally! Bam box. This one is the Tiger King Back to the Future Family Guy. Let's get it open. Okay, so there are so many problems with this box. Um, I ordered this box back in April, and I think due to all the COVID and the shipping and stuff, some stuff happened, stuff got delayed, it got pushed back. So I think this is technically supposed to be the May box, but it's finally here, finally, finally, finally. I'm so excited to get this thing open and talk a little bit about it. The franchises in it is Tiger King, which I think that pretty much took everyone by storm and uh, everyone was amazed by that show. Um, Family Guy, and then, of course, Back to the Future, which... I'm a huge, huge Back to Future fan, so I can't wait to see what is inside. Uh, I know the BAM, this is the pop culture box. They also have the horror box as well. I think they've actually changed the name from pop culture to, I think it's the geek box now, maybe. Um, but seen some unboxings of this, and I know there is, um, should be, the franchises should be represented by each one. Um, there's some autographs in here, well, at least one thing is autographed. Um, I've seen some giveaways where one of the giveaways was the pop of Doc Emmett Brown. And then I think they had a signed hoverboard. Um, but of course, I didn't get that because it's size of the box. Um, so, let's go ahead and get it open. Let's put it over on the back. It's very, very light. The box is very, very light. Um, I do hear some stuff moving around. Um... I'm going to try to keep my eyes closed. Okay, so that's the piece. That's the cover sheet that comes in there. The BAM. Let's see what I feel. I feel like a card, a box, some paper stuff. I have no clue what's in here. Let's start with this, this card. Oh, nice! Alright, so this is... Um, their fan art card. So this is, there's two to make the set. Um, it says this card is part of a set of two and a bigger set of 12. Um, collect both cards to make the set. Um, I don't, uh, this is fan art by Mark Milton. And it's Marty McFly in the first one when he steals the, uh, when he steals the skateboard. So that's pretty cool. Alright, let's see. We have this. There's another box. I'm gonna save that and see what that is. Alright, this is like a package. <laughs> okay, so this is Joe Exotic himself as a pen. Right there. So, he is holding a tiger cub. Um, so, this is Volume 5, Box 5. So, definitely gotta find something to put that on. I'm going to take that out and save it for last. I don't know what that is. Looks like we have a print art. Oh, okay. Also, too, Black Widow was an originally announced for this box, but it kind of fell off the details of the box. I thought because Marvel released their Marvel Core box, and it was Black Widow, so I thought maybe it had fallen off. But this is a fan art, and it's signed, and it has a print 218 out of 2200. So, let's see if we can find out who the artist is. It does not have a name. But it is signed, and there's the COA on the back. That's a pretty cool... It's a Black Widow. Alright. I think the last thing might be just the autograph. So, we're going to go ahead and open this little mystery box. So, here's the mystery box. I can already see something that's hanging from it. Let's go ahead and open it up. Honestly, have no clue what this is from. If you guys can see that or not, I this is kind of stuff for me. I have no clue. Hmm, okay, May, there should be a cheat sheet in here, so we'll look and see what it is. Maybe family. I'm pretty sure I saw something about Family Guy on here. 
Alright, what is this? Oh, nice. This is Turtles. Say no to drugs, say yes to pizza. So that's pretty freaking cool. There's that. And then what else? Is there anything else in here? Oh, we have the, the scratch card. And then... Okay, so for the next couple months, we're going to a digital handout upon printing companies we use our backup and running full speed. So we need to go on here to find our insert. Let's go ahead and do the scratch off. Um, I've never seen anyone win these scratch offs, but we're going to try and see. So I'm sorry. Uh, originally had said Family Guy on the thing. Unless that's Family Guy, but I doubt it. But. All right, so the first one we have is a free... Actually, it's an art print upgrade. Second one is an art print upgrade. <laughs> First time ever. Three in a row. Art print upgrade. Okay, so giveaway redemption instructions. All giveaways must be claimed within three months of receiving this ticket. All ticket numbers are initially dated and numbered. This giveaway has no redemption value. These giveaways... These giveaways are strictly for active subscribers to the band box. And so you must have an active subscription to claim your giveaway. And to claim your giveaway, send an email to giveaway at bandbox.com with a picture of both sides of the giveaway ticket with the name and email of your account. So that's pretty awesome. <sighs> Alright, let's go in here and see what the insert is. Alright, so let's go ahead and go over everything. So, this is a celebrity, celebrity autograph. We are featuring the voice actor Townsend Coleman, who is the voice of Michelangelo and the Tick. So that is um, Townsend Coleman autograph. Then we have the fan art pen, which is Zoe, Joe Exotic. There he is in the flesh, out of prison. COVID free. We have the fan art print, which is that. And that is by artist Hal Moore. Okay, and the movie prop. They totally switched this whole box up on me. Let's see here. The movie prop is from, is it Arwen's necklace from the Lord of the Rings? Even though Lord of the Rings was part of the thing on here. And then the artist select card is Mark Melton. Um... So, yeah. So, some of the... We did not get a level up. I have seen some level ups on here. Um, looks like the level up pin was Carol Baskins. And, yeah, that's it. And I think I think the art print was an upgrade, too, as well. Alright, so that is it for us on the band box. Um, am I kind of disappointed? Yeah. Because I wanted more Back to the Future stuff. And I kind of feel like it kind of got tricked around because um, it was Black Widow at first, and it wasn't, and then um, then it was supposed to be Family Guy, then it wasn't, and then there's Lord of the Rings. Um, the only back feature item I got was this, which is still pretty cool, but I, I like to display stuff, so I'll, I guess I'll find a spot over there for it. But, um, yeah, this box was bad, and I blame Carol Baskins. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you want more content, please follow us on Instagram. Thanks, guys. Remember, be safe and be kind to each other.